pieces referring to the present war. The first is a uh, well, it's a, it's a poem that a poem. It's a piece that I wrote at the beginning of the war when I found a website called Poets for the War. So I thought I'd try and insert something into this. And it got as far as the man who ran it offering to let me take over the site. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, Robert Creeley, who had a copy of this, sort of leaked it out, so that job was blown. <laughs> listen up. Why should we listen to Hans Blitz and all those other foreign pricks? The faggot French who swallow snails and kiss the cheeks of other males? The Germans with their Nazi past and leather pants and cars that last longer than ours. The ungrateful <laughs> chicks we let make all our clothes. Those things should back us in whatever task you shouldn't even have to ask. And as for creepy munchkin Putin, a slimy asshole, no disputing. We saved those Russians from the Reds, they owe support. Those wimpish heads of tiny states without the power to have a radio in the shower should fall in line behind George Bush and join with him and Blair to push the sword of truth through Saddam's guts. No need for any ifs or buts. We'll even do it without the backing of UN cowards and their quacking. Remember how we thrashed the nips and fried them like potato chips? God's on our side. He's white and Yankee. He dropped the bombs. He drive a tank. We know he's stronger than their ally, as is our righteousness and valour. We'll clip my ears and pecker and then move on to Napalm Mecca. 